Hey guys, in this video, I am super excited. We are in the Peruvian Amazon rainforest in Pacaya Samiria National Reserve. We're gonna be camping for six days, five nights and six days. Um, a lot of wildlife lives here. This is the home of the famous pink dolphin and other things, of course, sloths, monkeys. Hopefully we see them all. Uh, we're gonna be taking a couple boats, a couple canoes. We have a long time and I'm really excited. Let's go. Day one of my trip started from the coast of Lima, flying over the Great Andes Mountains, and finally arriving in the vast Amazon jungle. When we arrived in the town of Nauta from the city of Iquitos, the guides had to buy food and prepare for six days on a boat in the Amazon. I was trying to get ready for one of the biggest adventures of my life. I didn't know what to expect. I just knew that I wanted to see the wild Amazon rainforest. And before I knew it, we were off. And finally, after sailing for about two or three hours, we arrived in the community of Buenos Aires. Not Argentina, remember, this is Peru. So Buenos Aires is pretty isolated, but the people who live here aren't part of a tribe. They're relatively normal. They live relatively normal lives. They have cell phones without service. Uh, TVs, and other things. They just choose to live away from civilization as we know it. Maybe they don't want to be bothered with all the constant changes in technology and politics and things that we deal with every day that stress us out. Maybe they just want to be closer to nature and live within the rainforest. It's a beautiful way of life. At that point, we all decided to watch the beautiful sunset over the river in front of the village. Then we were going to eat, and then we were going to sleep. So that meant I had to check out exactly where I was sleeping for the night. Electricity came on in the village every night between 6 p.m. and 9 p.m. So that gave me the opportunity to charge my devices one last time for the next five days in the rainforest. As for my room, well, it was basically just a table for my stuff, a mattress with some blankets, a small pillow, 
and a giant mosquito net because after all, you're in the Amazon. And if you don't have a mosquito net, you're in trouble. I just want to mention that the first night we actually went out into the rainforest on a trail looking for whatever animals we could find in the dark. Uh, I was really excited. I wanted to see some tarantulas or snakes, monkeys, sloths, anything. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't find much, but I understood that you basically have to be in the right place at the right time to see the right animals. And even though I was a little disappointed, I also understood that I had five more days to discover what this great place could offer. Yes, what you just saw was the Amazon River Dolphin, otherwise known as the Pink Dolphin. Unfortunately, the color of this dolphin varies by age and gender. So the ones I was able to capture on film actually turned out to be gray, and it looks like they were a little lighter on the bottom. Either way, it was amazing to see. My main tour guide, Kevin, was from the area. He was a real man of the forest. He knew all the best places to go find wildlife, and here we took the boat to go find some sloths. So we got out and we walked around looking for about an hour or so, but unfortunately they just weren't out. We didn't find any. Remember, finding wild animals in the Amazon is all up to chance. You either find them or you don't. You're lucky or you're not. After not finding any sloths, we decided to go back to the boat and sail back to Buenos Aires, where we picked up yet another guide, someone who knew even more about the rainforest. Then we sailed up the river and set up camp for the first time. Join me in part two to see the rest of my second day in the Amazon, meet some new and interesting characters, hopefully find some animals, and find some new adventures in the Peruvian Amazon. See you there. Thanks for watching and please hit like and subscribe.